Hi guys, just another little uh, video project Turbo LS. Uh, power steering. So we're using the uh, existing Mustang rack that's in there. That's a 1984 Thunderbird, uh, basically a Fox body, so it has a Mustang rack. And then we're using our uh, factory LS uh, power steering pump. That's basically a GM pump, 1350 PSI. PSI. I got another scene in here coming up that uh, shows you how to put the uh, the spacers in to reduce that pressure down to a thousand psi that's generally what the mustang rack and pinion steering systems use for pressure so i'll show you I'll show you in the next scene here what we use for our pressure and return line i didn't use the factory shit because it was garbage and was leaking so basically uh well i'll show you in the next scene so anyways guys here's the uh gm ls factory power steering pump pump that comes with all uh LS engines. This is out of a truck. This is a six liter. So basically, I pulled out the uh, the fitting, and then there's a valve in there that you have to use your little magnetic rod to pull it out. I didn't even know it was in there, but anyways, you, you take the fitting off, and then you uh, you pull that little valve out. I'll show you right now in one scene, hopefully. So we're just going over here to the bench. Hey guys, so there it is right there. So that's that little valve, and that's this guy right here. So first, this one comes off. That's where your hose threads into. This guy comes on first, and I was kind of worried because I didn't see this thing, this little valve here that was inside there. So I used my little magnetic uh, rod to pull it out. So we'll just follow the instructions here. So basically, you get you put it into that thing just to hold it in the vise and then you uh, that little fastener it's a 7 16 or 11 mil you pull that off and then you put three shims that you can see here three shims underneath that fastener so if you look here yeah three I don't know if you guys can see that so three shims puts it to a thousand psi and again Mustang racks require about a thousand psi pressure to work properly so yeah, so that's a little side project I've got while I'm filming my uh, engine mount install. So since the engine's out, it's a lot easier to get the shit. So uh, yeah, we'll just do that and uh, get these shims in there. You guys, hopefully you can see this. So they give us this little uh, sleeve here. So just to protect the, uh, the valve while we're taking it off and let me put it in the vise here, so let's just uh, open this up, like so. You tighten this guy up here, and the aluminum just protects it. The surface finish off that valve. So basically what we're doing now is we're just pulling this off. As per instructions. So we don't want to lose any of these parts. So this is 11 mil. And this came out of a GM LS power steering pump. So we want to reduce the pressure from 1300, 1350 down to a thousand PSI so we can use use it in our with our our rack from the Mustang rack and pinion steering. They take less pressure to operate. They take about a thousand PSI. So there was a spring in here, so you gotta be super careful. I'll probably it'll probably I'll probably it'll probably jump out of here, but uh Okay, so we got that. So there's our little threaded thing. And it's got one shim right now. And the chart says three shims. The following chart is for reference only. Different pumps may vary pressures. pressures. Mustang rack and pinions generally require approximately 1,000 PSI. No shims, 1,350. One shim, 1,200. So that's what our thing, our GM uh, gearbox is working at. Two shims, 1,100. Three shims, 1,000 PSI. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, get this guy here. Probably even use this shim, but we'll just use new ones. Here we go. One. Okay, so we got our three shims on. 
Spring is in there. Now we just put this back. Pretty simple, guys. So now we can use our LS steering pump with our rack and pinion that's in the Mustang. Snug that down. There we go. Good enough. Pull that out. That's all there is to it, guys. So you've got three. So you've got three shims in here now, as per instructions. And we'll pop this back in. So how it goes? This goes into the power steering pump. Then this goes in. And then, of course, our line goes in. So, number one, it's now modified with the three shims. Number one, number two, and then, of course, our high pressure line. And that's it. So now we can use it with our factory uh, rack and pinion on the Mustang, no problem. So, there's our factory. Mustang rack and pinion steering again requiring a thousand psi to operate. Okay guys, so uh, as you saw me on the bench I replaced the uh, the shim pack under this little nut here on our valve for our GM LS power steering pump. So I got three shims under here reducing the pressure from 1350 to a thousand psi. So now we can use this pump with our uh, Mustang or Fox body rack and pinion steering system. So basically how this works is this guy goes in, in here, when you put, I just replaced also the seal, they give you the seal in the, in the kit, then this guy goes in here like so, okay, I'm just doing this now because it's just easier to do this here, then one, once this thing is in the, uh, in the engine bay, which I'm going to put in there today. <clears throat> get it snug, that's good. And then, of course, guys, we get our, uh, our, uh, our fitting. But I'm not using this guy because I got, I got to order some hoses that convert well basically it's got this but it has to go to a mustang mustang rack and pinion so there's no point even putting this in because the way the engine base is i can just get a, a straight one that goes right back to the uh the rack high pressure inlet because this was designed for, for your gearbox for your factory truck uh, gearbox so we don't need, we don't even need this but again this is now done with the three shims in there it's only putting out a thousand psi so we can use it with our factory Rack and pinion steering on, on the Mustang or any Fox body. Okay guys, so we're talking about power steering again for Project Turbo LS. So basically this bullshit here was the factory, uh, the factory, here's the pressure line that didn't work. It's uh, too short and I couldn't bend it enough. And then of course, here's the return line. So all the uh, sites and internet say that this should be a 916 but it also might be a, a 14 mil by 1.5 pitch fine thread because it, they're very close. And uh, I chased the uh, the rack up, up in the car there with a uh, with a 916 tap, and uh, I don't think it was. I think it was actually a metric one, so it works. But uh, I think this is a metric rack. So anyway, so those are the factory lines. You can see all that schlamozzle and bullshit. So what we've done is we just replaced them with this with this stuff here. So this guy here, that's the return, and that is good for 300 psi. And uh, basically, it's a twist lock stuff, as you can see here. So the twist lock, and you get this fitting twist locks on there. So that's good for uh, 300 psi. Return line is fine because there's no pressure in there. And of course, this is our pressure line, and this is the PTFE. It's good for 2,500 pounds. So I just made up this line here, as you can see, 
and I screwed these fittings into the rack. So this is the 9 16 one, and that's the 5 8 for the return. And I also put an O-ring underneath so it seals, and I also use some, uh, some thread paste because, like I said, there's a slight mismatch of threads because I think they're metric in that one, but I, I made it work. So we'll see when we get this thing assembled if we're going to have any leaks. And if we do, I'll have to get a different rack, which is not a big deal big deal because they're relatively cheap. So I'll try to uh, do this in one take here, and I'll show you what I did on the uh, steering rack side. Okay, so there's our factory Mustang steering rack that came in this car. And if you can see that, let me just see here. Yeah, so there's our, uh, there's our fittings. Better screw it in there now. So again, with O-rings and thread paste on the threads. And of course, here's our fitting on the uh, power steering pump. Sorry about the focus. So when I get the lines in, I'll, I'll do another scene and I'll show you exactly what, uh, how this all worked here. Okay guys, so I got the lines in, as you can see. Hopefully you can see this. Let me just see here if I can back out. Yeah, so there's the return line on our LS pump. I'm underneath the car here. So that, you can follow that. And that goes, kind of hard to see, but there's the return line going into the steering rack and also the feed line. The feed line is a PTFE and that's the braided line and the return of course is the twist lock rubber stuff that's good for 300 pounds so yeah actually so it went uh, pretty good guys here's our sorry about the camera work but it's kind of hard to see under here that's our fitting coming off the pump and again there's our fittings and lines threaded into the uh, power steering rack so we'll see if it leaks and if it does, it's because of a mismatch of threads on those on those fittings, a uh, slight mismatch. I used uh, 9 16 18 on the pressure line. Uh, I think this was a metric rack, so that's 14 mil by 1.5 pitch. So it's super close, but not quite. So I used some thread paste and I got an O-ring under the fittings. So the fittings, I don't know if you can see that, but you can't see it. So anyway, so uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, Turbo LS power steering pump to rack install. And again, I've already reduced the pressure with a pressure reducing modification on the valve inside the power steering pump. Uh, that's as a, that's the scene that you've already seen. So now this is the, uh, the finished product. So just a quick uh, view from the top here, guys. That's the factory LS uh, power steering pump. As you can see, and here's our Pressure line going to our, uh, our rack. There they are right there. So those are the uh, lines. The Again, the braided one is uh, pressure and the uh, black rubber one that's uh, return. So hopefully it doesn't leak and if it does, well, we'll just get a different rack with the proper threads. So I just made this work and uh, hopefully it does seal. So again, that's what it looks like from the top. Not too bad. Lots of room. So using a factory LS pump with the uh, factory Mustang rack, or in this case, the Ford Thunderbird. So again, pressure bin has been reduced in this with the, uh, the pressure modifying kit, as you saw in the earlier scene. 1000 PSI versus 1350, what these usually put out. All right, guys, so hopefully uh, that was a video you might have learned something for the uh, Turbo Project LS or Project Turbo LS. Power steering uh, pump to factory rack install using the uh, LS or GM pump to uh, supply pressure to the uh, factory Ford rack and pinion. So hopefully that was uh, a good video, and uh, I'm going to work on the, uh, the transmission cross member, fabricate that up, and that'll be the next video. So again, guys, uh, thanks for watching.